Hello everybody and welcome to episode 3 of Glory Hunter. Today we take on Atletico Madrid in La Liga. We have got one new signing to introduce to you as the transfer window has now closed. And we need to take a look at our Europa League group. Let's do the new signing first of all. Before we talk about the incoming, we need to talk about the outgoing, and that is Jose Luis Morales. He has joined Lazio for £850,000, another one of the oldies out the door. Was only with us for a season, so wasn't too much lost. And a big chunk of wages was freed up for our new edition. And when I call him a new edition, I call him an old edition. Former Villarreal player Pablo Fornals is back at the football club on loan from West Ham for the season with an option to buy at the end. Only an option. He is out of contract in the summer as well. So I'm hoping if we make a good impression and he makes a good impression on us, which he has done so far, to be fair to him, we can secure Pablo permanently in the summer. Now on to the Europa League draw, and we've been dealt a very decent hand in that draw. So it's Genk, Lask and Aberdeen for us, which we should make it through fairly comfortably from that group of four. But things did not go well after the match with Valencia. We lost away at Granada. Bren Brereton Diaz, though, did grab his first goal for us in a shock defeat, although they are doing well, as you'll see in the league table shortly. We bounce back with a good win over Real Sociedad, Pino and Fornals with the goals. Then a bit of a damp squib against Sevilla, nil, nil was the final score from that one. But last time around, we hit five as we beat Genk at the start of our Europa League campaign. Fornals, Clark, Comsania, Gabia and Solet with the goals. So that gets us off to the perfect start in the Europa League and we hope we can make it to at least the board expectation of the quarterfinals. I want to go all the way but we will see what happens there. In La Liga there is Granada in the top four. Perennial strugglers Granada in the top four at the moment. Real Madrid lead the way on 15. Sociedad have got 12. Valencia 11. Granada there on 10. Barcelona also level of one points with us on 10 with Atletico Madrid with only one win so far this season. They are down in 13th. Diego Simeone will not be happy with that. Will they take it out on us? I really hope not. Let's take a look at the teams. So here are the two starting lineups for this one as Jorgensen starts in goal for us. Foyth, Solette, Concia, Pedraza, Tigueros, Fornals, Smith Rowe, Bienia, Suarez with Brevet and Diaz leading the line as Atletico starts with Oblak in goal. Savic, Jimenez, Hermoso, Lorente, Coque, Galan, De Paul, Salou, Depay with Anton Griezmann leading the line. And a bit of a free hit for us this one. I mean, no one expects us to beat Atletico Madrid, right? Right? Let's see what happens. Can we continue our good start to the season? Obviously, we are there or thereabouts at the moment. That's where we want to be at the end. Atletico have got some work to do if they're going to make it in there. Three at the back for them in a very odd formation. But Diego Simeone is a bit of an odd man, isn't he? Passionate as well. I should expect him to be jumping up and down on the sidelines. I might well do the same, you know. I'm a bit of a passionate bloke myself. We've reverted back to the team that have been playing in La Liga recently with the ball coming into the area and Jorgensen with his hands on the ball. That's why Berrison Diaz is leading the line. Moreno he hasn't scored so far this season. Hopefully it will come for him. But Berrison Diaz seems to be leading the line well. There's a corner. Tigueros with it. Can he find a Villarreal player? He can find Denis Suarez on the edge of the box. He gets the shot away and it's patted away. Ball into the area. Lorente will pick it up. Plays it back into DePaul. Lorente again, coming inside the penalty area. Will he get a shot away? He'll go low into Salou. Galan, don't let him shoot from there. And he has put it behind, thanks to Emil Smith Rowe. With the block behind for the corner. Well, it's going to be Griezmann to take the corner. I don't know why I go all Scottish when I say Griezmann. 
Ball towards the back post and it is headed away by Concia. Atletico corner once more. Griezmann with it. Can he find an Atletico head? I hope not. Towards the back stick it goes and it's headed away by Brereton Diaz. But DePaul will pick it up. How many players have they got back behind the ball? Trying to stop the counter attack. That's unusual. Jorgensen with a good save from Griezmann. Would have thought to try and play on the front foot, wouldn't you? They do have another corner though. Third in succession. To Paul with it. Ball coming into the area once more towards the back post. Looking for Memphis to pay, but we are going to deal with that fairly comfortably. I know Memphis can jump, but not that high. Bienya with a free kick. Gets it over the top of the wall. Or Black catches it. No camera save from him. As for Griezmann has picked up an injury, so Alvaro Morata is on. Is that good news or bad news? I'm not sure. Didn't have a good time in England, Alvaro Morata. Pedraza's picked up an injury as well. It's all happening at the moment. Morata has got the ball inside the centre circle. Trying to get away. Is getting away. But we are coming back at him. But Memphis Depay is unmarked and it's a good save from Jorgensen. Had to get that round the post. That was going bottom corner. Change of corner taker. Galan is going to take the corners from now on. As he goes towards the back stick. Jorgensen comes and he claims just about gets there. Confident, I like that, off his line. Pedraza with the free kick towards Salette. And now Black tips it round as well. Salette was offside. Throw in. Lorente with it. We might have to look at a change at half time at left back. Morata's inside the penalty here alone. Salou! Oh, that is a goal from Salou. Out of his feet. Fired it beyond the goalkeeper. Jorgensen ain't saving that one. We've had a warning. We have now had the shot across the bow. Morata into Salou. That is a great shot. Top corner. Can't do anything about that. Unfortunate to be behind. I think it's fair to say. But looking at the match momentum, it has swung one way and the other. Well, they are going to make a change at half time. He is hampered by the injury. He's going to have to come off the field. And it's going to be Mandy to come on in his place. Any other changes to make at the break? No, we're all good. We're all good. We're in the game, at least. We need to try and do something in the second half. Will Gerard Moreno come off the bench to score a goal? We will find out. Denis Suarez out on this left-hand side. Coming across field. Licence to roam. Bereton Diaz challenged, but he's won the ball cleanly, apparently. Despite going through the back of the player. Nice to see the Spanish officials are just as bad as the English ones. Salou. Trying to get away into Galan. Good. Oh, no. Foyt, I thought he'd take the ball. Morata. Into Salou. Don't let them start doing this. Memphis Depay is in behind, but he has fired it over the top. Barcelona lead El Clasico by two goals to nil. That will not go down well. We are going to have a look at a change or two. So Brereton Diaz is going to come off. Moreno is going to come on for him. We're going to take off Denis Suarez for Jeremy Pino. He is going to come on on that left-hand side. And we're going to take Tigueros off as well. And we're going to bring Terraps on in his place. Final half an hour. Pino trying to get stuck in. Lorente picks it up though. Koke. Towards Salou. Challenge him. Well done, Wan. Into Galan though. And you're out of position now. <laughs> Jorgensen gets the shot away. You've got to get back, Wan. As well as trying to win the ball. I appreciate it. But get back in position. Corner to Atletico. They are squeezing the life out of this game at the moment. Corner after corner after corner. DePaul with the ball. Towards the back post and it's headed away. We're dealing with it. We just can't get going in the opposite direction at the moment. Take the ball away. Fornells picks it up. Pino into Bienya. This is the chance to hit them on the counter. Although there's lots of players back. They have parted like the Red Sea, however. Bienya still going. Gets the shot away. But it's over the top of the bar. Unlucky. Promised much. Delivered little. Unfortunately. Right, 20 minutes to play. We have got one more change to use, and we are going to use it right now. Emil Smith Rowe is going to be the man to come off, but we're going to bring Piejo on, and he is going to go and play behind Moreno. Bienya out on the left or the right? Let's have a look. Left or right? Left. Pino is definitely better on the right hand side. And it's a throw in. Galan with it. Morata into Galan once more. Up the line for Morata. Plays it into Salou. Across into Memphis Depay. And it's put behind again. 
It's another corner to Atletico. They're racking these up. Thankfully, they've not really done anything from them. Galan with the corner once more. Real Madrid have pulled a goal back in the 90th minute. Going to do nothing probably to win El Clasico. And Jorgensen has come and claimed again. Get us going. Oh, why not show a highlight, for goodness sake? Let's get a bit of encouragement on the field. Final 12 minutes or so. Need to try and do something. Atletico Madrid are doing what Atletico do. They are sucking the life out of the game. But we've got the ball, have we? No, Fornals loses out to DePaul. Koke plays it through to Salou. He's going to get a shot away, is he? He is, but Jorgensen is going to make the save. And it's another corner to Atletico. I'm going to count the corners at the end. I think showing you one, I've done about eight or nine at this point. They've not really done anything wrong with them, as I said earlier. Jorgensen is going to claim the ball. He's done really well with that today. Really, really well. Coming through the field. We're a bit stretched, are we? No, Tarats picks it up. Tries to get us going the other way. Pino has got the ball. Pino, you're running away from the ball, man. There we go. <laughs> he was putting the afterburners on. He didn't have the ball. Bienya with the shot. Deflected it in. Is that Moreno's goal? Oh, VAR are going to have a look. Is Moreno offside? I think he might have been. Oh, don't do this to me. Yeah, it's been disallowed. It took a massive deflection. It wasn't off an Atletico player. It was off one of our own. Oh, he's only just offside as well. Oh, that's cruel. Have we got one more chance in us with three minutes to play? In fairness, losing 1-0 to Atletico, it ain't bad. But we could have got something out of the game. We just haven't taken our chances when they've come. Bienia's had... Obviously, the one that was disallowed and the one he put over the top, which was more difficult, to be fair. But against a team like Atletico, you've got to take your chances when they come. And they will learn. Jimenez into Savic as they're trying to see out the time and they look like they're going to. Molina's picked it up on that right-hand side. We're trying to put a bit of pressure on the ball, but I think we are going to run out of time. And we have lost by a goal to nil. Unluckily, by a goal to nil. 15 corners Atletico had. 15. They had more corners than they had shots. They had more fouls as well, which shows you how much they were breaking up the game in classic Atletico style. So that defeat means we join Atletico in mid-table. 10 points so far from our season. 9 for Atletico now after the win. Real Madrid keep Hold of top spot, but only just after Real Sociedad were held by Alaves. They lost El Clasico. Let's see what we're going to do next time. And hopefully Real Madrid don't take it out on us. In fairness, they've got plenty of games in between. Four games we are going to take on. So we're going to take on Osasuna, Athletic Bilbao, Aberdeen and Real Betis. And yeah, we will come back for the visit of Real Madrid. And hopefully we'd have learnt a lesson today. You've got to take your chances. Admittedly, as I said, with the fouls that they did, Atletico, they played the game brilliantly. We need to try and do that ourselves. We might put Get Stuck In on to try and do that. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.